Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello guys, and welcome to Treasure Hunter Simulator. What's Treasure Hunter Simulator? Exactly what it sounds like. We go and hunt treasure with metal detectors. So here we are in our home office, starting a new game. Took a while to get to the, the graphic settings and the screens, uh, screen size to format. Uh, it's a little tricky at this point, but the devs know about some of the mouse problems and setting problems there. So they're working on a patch. So if you've been playing the game, we're getting ready to get the game. Hopefully they'll have a patch soon before you get it. It's on Steam currently. Uh, I was hoping to get this video a while ago, but I had some problems, like I said, uh, just in screen settings, and I did a video, and I didn't turn the music down far enough, and I got copyrighted, so deleted the video, and now here I am. So anyways, uh, I'm also glad I'm starting the video over because I was reading emails. I was like, this doesn't make sense, and after watching the YouTube video, I realized somehow I missed an email. So here we are in the home office. This is my PC. So we click on that. Every time I click on the PC, it's going to bring us right into our map. And there are pin locations that we can travel to. So right now we have two maps unlocked. One is Bavarian Lake, which costs us nothing to travel to. And another is Gettysburg, which costs us $150 to travel to. But I got $20. I only got one prestige. It's not going to quite work. The other thing you'll see on the map is each location will tell you roughly where a lot of the treasures are, meaning the size of the treasure, the depth of the treasure, so on and so forth. Why does that matter? And why does prestige matter? Well, the higher prestige you get, you can get different metal detectors. So the, the uh, first detector you start off with start up with is a JMR LB 1019 MK. So this one is the one we have availability to and only detects small objects in shallow areas. That's all I can afford because not prestige two, three, four, not all the way up to level eight, which if you look at that sucker, it detects everything, uh, <laughs> which is kind of sweet. Uh, but yeah, first things first. So back to the map. So obviously, when you first start the game, you only have one place to go to, and this is how you go down to it. You hit travel. When you do collect things, it goes into your collection box right here. Collections. Obviously, we have nothing. So now you're asking me, well, how do we get prestige to get better, better metal detectors? Well, we'll get to that in a second. So the first thing I missed on my first playthrough was this email right here. So basically, instead of reading you this entire email, because I suck at reading and trying to say exactly what happens, um, this Johan Smith is from the Willpower in, in, uh, Inheritance Company, and our uncle, Sir Richard Clapperton, has deceased. We are sending a message to inform you that we are, we are starting the inheritance case, and that's our case number. Per my uncle's wishes, they gave my email address a select number of contacts that will follow a, di a different set of rules provided in the last will. So basically what it says is, from my uncle's will, they want me pretty much to take over what he was doing. And one year from now, these contacts will, yet, will be asked to provide a full review of my actions based on them. And if I do everything right, uh, I get the inheritance, basically. So on and so forth. So it's kind of like I'm taking over my uncle's job, per se, to get... And if I do it right, I get his inheritance. So here are the jobs. So currently we're in the inbox. You come to jobs. These are my job offers. Uh, my name is Robin Hewitt, and he represents the Institute of Archaeology. He wants me to go to Bavarian Lake and clean up the Alta, uh, uh, Alta Sea area of trash. So basically, I'm going to go there with a metal detector, pick up trash. My rewards is 1,000 prestige. No money. The money will come in when you get you get to collect stuff and sell stuff. So since we can only travel to Bavarian Lake, we want to accept that. So there we go. There are also side jobs that you can take. So since we're going to Bavarian Lake, you pretty much want to take everything you can in one trip. Uh, 
this email pretty much says they, they run a website and they need some more, uh, they need some pictures of these areas right here. So how do you know what you need to take pictures of? Well, see, they want me to take three pictures and it shows attachment one, attachment two, attachment three. If you go down here, boom, they want me to take a picture of that flower, one of those flowers, one of those flowers. Reward 100 prestige. Uh, same thing, Bavarian Lake. Find the fastest route from the river to the upper village. 100 prestige, we will accept that. Now, this is where you got to pay attention. This job is for Gettysburg. You can always accept the jobs whenever and do them later on. Uh, we will be going to Gettysburg at some point. Uh, so we get 100 points for taking photos of the Canyon Monument near the entrance. And one of the main monuments will accept that. And also find a loaded, uh, find a loaded, yeah, find a lead musket bullet, good condition in the Gettysburg area. So you try to wonder like, okay, where do those emails go? I don't know what jobs I have. Well, you just click over to jobs. Boom, here are your jobs. So you got your main jobs that are going to pay you a lot of prestige and your side jobs are your lower prestige, but you know, try to get the most prestige that you can from the get go. So here's our prestige level. We're prestige one, 3,000 to get to level two. Here's our cash. So let's go to the map. Like I said, we can't go to Gettysburg now because it, not enough cash tells you right there. So the only other map we got available to is Bavarian Lake. Let's go ahead and travel. Luckily now I know what I'm doing. So in the first video, I was kind of, I played a little bit, then I record the video and I was still kind of like, uh, what's this, what's this? And oh, great, darkness. This is the first time I've been on a map where it's dark. It is dark for me, so I can imagine what this YouTube video would look like to you. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't even see like a time, is there a time stamp, anything like that? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll bring it back when it's daylight, I guess. I'll see you in a bit. And we're back. So, from my understanding, there is, there actually is, I had to go to the discussion forum, there is no night time, I guess. It's a config issues with some, some people. So I had to go into the config file and uh, redo, do some coding over. There will be a patch for that, so we, you don't have to do it eventually. So here we are, in, uh, at the lake. So to bring up map, you hit M, so you can see... In the bottom corner of the screen, we are here. And the little dots will show you where you've been and kind of the whole area where you need to go. While you're in here, this is like your little iPad, I suppose. You can go to jobs. You can see what kind of jobs you got. So cleaning up. Uh, yeah, I got cleaning trash. I need to take pictures. And I need to find the fastest route. And if you want to take pictures, you can either go into your iPad and hit camera and you can take pictures. Or... Uh, wait, no, 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 that's, no, see, I'm hitting, the, I'm hitting the wrong buttons now. Uh, press Z to exit. Or if you're just walking around and you want to take a picture, you can hit Z as well. So Z will bring it to the camera, M is your map. So, now we're on here, you're saying, well, how do you find treasure? Well, your metal detector doesn't really, I guess it's always on, you just don't have it out. So basically, you just, you just gotta look around. And I'll get to that little symbol right there in a minute. So basically you walk around. Don't worry, it gets exciting in a while. I'll find something soon, hopefully. So you walk around until in the bottom right hand corner you see... I thought it was a magnifying glass, but it's actually kind of like your metal detector. And you hear a beeping sound. When you do, hit your right mouse, right mouse button your metal detector comes out. Now, in the lower right-hand corner, you can see a bar filling up. Or you can listen to the beeps as it gets louder. So, you kind of just try to follow it, and when it gets full, start looking for it. Oh. So, basically, you want to get to where your metal, detect metal detector beeps like that, and it kind of turns green. Left-click on your mouse, you take out your wonderful shovel that you had from nowhere. And you dig a hole. 
Now for my previous uh, plays, three digs will get you to shallow items. Uh, I think it's five digs to medium, and I don't know what you get to to deep ones. But we have found a bottle cap. Ooh, it's worth one dollar. We'll take it. But that is also key, because I'm pretty sure, if you look, task updated, clean up one of five. So basically finding five items. So you remember that quest they gave us to find a faster travel point? Here's the start. Uh, now the fun part is, I already kind of know where I'm going. So you have entered a time trial start area. If you'd like to start the time trial, we hit yes. So we're going. So from my understanding, and yes, my metal detector is going to go off as I'm doing the time trial. You got one minute to go to where their destination is. Lucky for me, I kind of already know where I got to go. And actually, the first time I did this, I also did it. Uh, if you read the email, it'll pretty much tell you what they're trying to do. So I remember in this email, they want me to try to find the quickest way to the upper camp. Well, I, I've already walked around the map before and I knew what the upper camp was, which is up here. Yeah, my metal detector's like, hey dude, there's something here. And let me tell you, these time trials do cut it close. It seems like every time I hit a minute, it kind of reset or I went out of the boundary area or whatever. So we hit the flag. And we get quest complete. Now, you're not going to see your prestige level go up or anything like that until you go off screen. So there is that. So the other quest we got is take pictures and also clean up the trash on the map. Now, when I first read that, I'm like, I got to find all the trash on the map. No, you just got to find five pieces of trash. Uh, what they call trash and what they call treasures. I probably should have showed you a pick up the bottle cap, but it was a bottle cap. So the first time I did it, I'm like, ooh, flowers. I took pictures of that. That doesn't work. All you have to do... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, nope, not that way. Not that way. Come on, where are you? Whoop, there it is. Now also, I have found if you find something in the ground that says unable to dig here, basically what you want to do, if, it's, if it gives you a symbol unable to dig here, you want to get above the terrain and be facing downhill and it usually allows you to dig. So right here, when you find something, we found a metal fastener, which is worth another $1. Fantastic. Uh, it's type, see, it says trash. Uh, rarity is normal, made out of iron, conditions good, $1. Uh, in the beginning stages, yeah, you want to take everything. And I mean everything. Two of five items cleaned up. Now, the good thing about coming here, it doesn't cost you nothing to travel here. So trying to break even is not going to be too hard because you paid zero. Uh, where was it? I really pretty much just watched the meter in the bottom right hand corner. And twist and turn. Try to find out where I'm going. There we go. Looks like I already went by it. All right. Interesting. Aha. There we go. Come on, where was it? Now, usually the first time around, I usually find nothing but trash, but there are a few things in shallow areas that are good to have. This might be a needle worth about $18, depending on the condition. 11 to 18 so right now, everything is unknown, 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 but it does say an old needle. You can come down here where it says identify. And you spray it with some kind of metal cleaner. 
and voila, a real needle. Type is treasure, kind of. Uh, rarity normal, iron, condition tolerable, worth $11. And pretty much, I don't ever really read uh, the description of what's going on here, but it kind of tells you like the history of what you found or whatnot. Uh, if you want to pause the video and read it, go ahead. But we're taking it. So already I didn't move. And there's something else in my area. Now see, that ain't counting towards my quest because it was not trash. Looks like we found another bottle cap, boys. So that is trash. We will take that. There is this too much stuff in this area that's given given our mill detector fits. So as we're taking pictures, as you can see, there's a camera flashing over areas where you need to take a picture. So this is one of the flowers. So I'll hit Z. Take a picture of that. Did I not take a picture? There we go. So it says task complete. That's picture one of three. Now you saw all those other camera things disappear. That's because that's the same flower. Looks like we're right over, hopefully another piece of trash to complete that mission. Let's see what we have here. One thing I learned in my first playthrough is a lot of nails. Uh, but this looks like a button. This should be considered trash. One dollar. Don't worry, it does get better. Cleanup complete. So the last thing I need to do is take a couple pictures. And already I can see a floating camera on up over here. Now the one thing I don't like in the game is you can't jump up and down. Which kind of... <laughs> Uh, I do like jumping up and down. So, when you get over what you need to take a picture of, you heard like the game kind of like give me a sound of a little, a little tone to let me know. And there, task complete. Picture two is done. Now, I just need to find another camera flickering somewhere to let me know that they have a flower somewhere. So, when I find it, I'll bring it back. So here is our third camera. That little nice little tone lets me know I'm in the perfect camera angle to take the picture. And we got that quest completed. So if we go to our map, which then brings up our jobs, we can see all of our jobs have been cleared because we finished them all. So you can see the area kind of walked around. The little shovels will show you where you dug up some treasures, uh, if you want to call them that, and whatnot. So hit M to get out of your, your mode there. Uh, is there something here near? Nope. This way must be. Yep, it's there somewhere. Sometimes it can be a little finicky. Let's hopefully we find something worth our while. It's another nail. Anyways, I think it's time. <laughs> All these one dollar items. I did a lot better of this than my first time around. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll fiddle around this a little bit more. See if I can find something interesting for you. And I'll bring it back when I do. Hopefully. Well, I didn't find too much anything else that was rather interesting. I found a couple items that were worth like $10, $11. That's about it. So, what you want to do is once you seem like you're done with the map, you just hit escape and return to the office. Yes, we will. And back to the office, we should have more jobs. Well, we'll get emails about the jobs we did and also about new jobs as well. Prestige increased. Thanks for all the findings. Your prestige level has increased. Yay. So, we're down to 36 bucks, Or up to $36, I should say. 
we're at 20. So if we go into collections, so the trash doesn't get put into your inventory. It kind of automatically auto sells from what I can see. So I found a ruined needle for $11. I'm going to sell that. Uh, I found a piece of metal worth $16. We'll sell that. And a destroyed needle worth $10. Sell that. I'm up to $73. Oh, yes. So special emails, contract confirmation. Good morning. This message is just a follow up on our previous conversation. Our office has received a message from the Institute of, Arco of Arcology confirming your activity. We will consider this as a first step in completing the will of our uncle. Have a great day. Uh, or good day. It says good day, not great day. So, hello again. Uh, so this guy now wants me to find treasures of the Aletsi Lake area. 1,000 prestige. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what are we looking I think it's a helmet, right? Uh, to get a positive, uh, first of all, thank you for dealing with the, we managed to get a positive response for a permit inquiry. Right now, the Institute is looking for an increased number of historical, of historical value. Find treasures. We will accept that. Now, if we go to metal detectors, oh, I don't have enough cash to get that. Hmm, interesting. So, back to our map. I'm going to go f probably find some more trash, because I think I need to get the better metal detector to do the next quest. But unless I find a treasure or something, I'll bring it back and uh, yeah, we'll see how we're doing. All right, so here's my first example. It says, cannot dig from here. So what you need to do is you can see I'm kind of facing uphill. I'm gonna look, keep looking in that right direction, then turn around, face down a hill. And then you can dig away safely. Well, not safely, but <laughs> you can dig away anyways. I don't think I want to be digging from uphill downhill, but it seems to work here. And yeah, give me that one dollar for that nail. Well, 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 we found a bullet casing. Let's clean it off. Hopefully this is a treasure. It's rare. It's worth $31. Ah, so I got to find... Four more treasures, apparently. To get our 1,000 prestige. Let's see if I can find four more. I found a lot of nails. And whatnot. I wonder what these symbols mean. Don't know. I'm going to keep looking. See what else I can find. Well, 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 this looks like a gold coin. A very old gold coin. How much is this going to be worth? I kind of already know, but actually that's better than what it was before. So when I first saw this on my first playthrough, I'm like, uh, like a hundred dollars at least or something. No, 48. And this is in good condition. Anyways, that's treasure number two. Right? Yes. All right. So I'm going to continue searching. I got three more to go. At least with all this, I may have enough money to buy the metal, well, a different metal detector. It's not mean this better. It's just a different style of metal detector. I have found a ruined iron button that's a treasure, apparently. The oldest buttons are believed to be more than 5,000 years old. Well, there's number three. Seems like I'm finding a hot spot of uh, of wonderful treasures. Now watch. I'm going to keep you here for this one. It's going to be a nail. I know it. You just know it because I'm keeping you along. I can't see what's down here. But we're reaching into the hole and we're pulling out a what? Another old button. $25. Now we're making some cash, at least. 
Well, I found an old key. That was number five of five. Now, when you come back to a map, it resets every time. So, just don't think where you found something before. If you leave and come back, you're going to find it there again. Let's see what I find here. Anything interesting? Survey says an oddly shaped bit of metal. So this is the one that's worth like $15. Cash is cash. It's a treasure for some reason. We will take it. All right, so for now, let's go back to the office. And now we should have enough money to buy the different metal detector. Let's go in here. Uh, email. Ah, uh, so this is the one fine. This is basically find a helmet. And when they tell you they're looking for a specific thing, they usually send an attachment of where you got to look for it. And they'll give you a picture of roughly where it is. And it's worth uh, 1,000 prestige. But I need to go into detectors. Oh, I haven't sold nothing yet. Ha ha ha. That's why I'm like, okay. Uh, so let's sell all of our stuff. So we had like 80 some odd dollars. Even the gold coin. Yes, you sell the gold coins. At least I, I do. There. Now I have to buy. Now the problem is you can only carry one detector with you at all times. So see, this detects small items in shallow areas. This detects medium items in shallow areas. I need this. Now it's kind of weird. The one that's highlighted... The one that's not highlighted is what you have. So see... It's telling me I can equip this. It highlights like you can equip this. The one that's equipped is already chalked off. Let you know that's the one you have. So uh, any no no. So we just got the job. So we we'll go back to the map. Our prestige was still level two, but we are gonna go back to here. Now the good thing the metal detectors aren't that expensive. Now if you don't want to know where this helmet is, or if you want to watch where this helmet is, it's not gonna take us too long to up and get it. But one thing I've found with this metal detector, we'll find medium things. Most of the things you do find, it's worth at least ten, at least ten dollars. Um, it's not going to pick up nails and bottle caps and stuff like that. So on our way up there, if our metal detector happens to go off, I'll see if we can find what it is, uh, and we'll see. But I got stuck on something, and uh, yeah, we'll see what it is. All right. Uh, which way are we got to go here? Uh, which way are we going? This way? Oh, come on, you're right here. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we can dig up. Uh, I forgot what this is. Part of a ball peen hammer or something like that, I think. Identify. Identify yourself. As a treasure. Normal. Tolerable. It's a it's a ruined cross peen hammer head. Worth $13. We will take it. A medium sized metal hook of some sorts. Now, I'm surprised I can't tell what it is, but if I spray it with a can, I can immediately tell what it is. <laughs> uh, it's a ruined hand prosthesis. Pro it's what you, well, Captain Hook. Prosthetesis. I can never say this words like that, so just deal with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's worth 13 bucks. There's some weird stuff buried in these here. Hit, in these hills here. I don't know what's going on. Well, I've never been up this little crevice before. I was like, is that a shortcut? No.
Well, maybe this is the hacksaw that cut off the other guy's hand where he needed the iron hook. Just saying. What? <laughs> it's actually the invitation saw. Oh. All right. That's the first time I saw it. I've never dug that up yet before, so. Oh, man, that was too good. I didn't look on the forum to see how many items are actually you can find. But the first time I did this quest, I saw the picture. I knew right where it was. Um, it's not on this side. It's going to be on the other side. The reason why I knew, because there's a door, the hill. Here, some there it is. And look at that. Identify. I identify. I'll clean it off. It's a legendary item, except exceptional rarity. It's made of iron. Condition's good, and it's priceless. Yeah, the first time I saw this, oh man, am I rich? No, you're not rich. <laughs> not really. Oh yes, we found the helmet. I am going to return to the office. Before I used to go around and try to collect all the money. I will do that more off cam. So let's go back in here. Go to our email. And this is the, uh, the people for the will. We received our first progression report from the Institute of Archaeology. We'd like to congratulate you on finding the Pickle Hod, Pickle Hob, and use this monument to inform you that uh, to inform you that every historical artifact that you find We'd like to congratulate you on finding the Pickle Hob and use this monument to inform you that every historical artifact that you find Oh, following the wishes of your uncle will remain in your care until the inheritance case is, is complete. Uh, uh, okay. All the organizations contacting you have been informed about this fact and they have agreed to follow the wishes of Sir Richard. All right. Thank you. Uh, so this person here wants us to go to the Slovakian Valley. And find treasures. 3,000 prestige. We will accept that. And this one wants to go to the Slovakian Valley and find the fastest route to the mountains for 200 prestige. I think I may have missed that one of these unlocked. I think by finding the helmet it said how much you got 1,000 prestige. And it, and it will tell you that it will unlock a map. I probably missed that. But it cost $50 to go there which is not bad. I got a, Well I got more than 118 actually. Uh, I can't sell this. So see, when you, when you select on the priceless item, uh, there's no sell item down here. But I can sell that. I can sell that. And I can sell that. But our prestige is going up. You can imagine 3,000 prestige is going to get us quite a ways up there. But I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. For the first episode of Treasure Hunter Simulator. Hopefully you liked it. Not my commentary, but hopefully you like the video. <laughs> uh, oh, we even got the helmet on the desk now. I don't know. Was that there before? I don't think so. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time in Treasure Hunter. But until then, have a good one.